Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three simple steps to de-bloat your Discord and optimize it for gaming, streaming, and even if you're using it while gaming, I'm gonna be making it impact your game much lesser and free up your system resources so you can utilize in the game. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video and smash that like button if you haven't already. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so the setting number one is actually heading on to your Discord and changing your Discord settings. For that, head over to this user settings button and then you're gonna have to come down to appearance. Now this is the most important one. I would highly recommend you guys to use any default theme over here. Don't use any Nitro themes because it is going to add extra animations which is nothing but more RAM and CPU usage in the background. Just stick to the default theme and the default icon. Then you have UI density. I have left it to spacious but you can go with default or compact it doesn't really impact anything now what you have to do is head over to voice and video and then make sure that the voice processing is turned off once that's done go down to video settings and then scroll a bit down until you find the advanced tab disable video hardware acceleration and click on ok Next, you're gonna head down to the notification settings and then disable desktop notifications and disable taskbar flashing. Then head over to the windows settings and then disable open discord on startup. This will help you to reduce one application running in the background right after the boot of your PC, which reduces the number of processor and also reduces the boot time of your PC. Then head over to the advanced tab and you're gonna have to disable hardware acceleration over here. Click on change and restart and restart your discord. The last thing that you need to change over here is actually the game overlay because no matter how optimized it is, a Discord overlay is still an overlay which consumes your CPU, RAM and GPU resources in the background while you're playing the game. So I would highly recommend you guys to disable this overlay and you guys can simply select it is not useful. Click on submit and then you also wanna have to disable the legacy overlay. It's a good rule of thumb that you keep it disabled. Once all of that is done, you can close it out and you can minimize your Discord. But before moving on, if you guys want to prank your friends on Discord or if you're a content creator and you want to change your voice to record or stream, I introduce you guys to Aesis Voiceway, which is a real-time AI voice changer for online gaming, streaming, and pranking your friends. You guys can download it for free and as you guys can see, it supports all of the multiplayer games including Discord over here. Once you open up Aesis Voice Wave, it asks you to select your microphone, you can select that and it also asks you to select your headphone. headphone. Once you're done picking that, you guys will be prompted to a screen to select voices. They have more than 500 voices including AI voices of famous characters, celebrities and a lot more. And if you guys are planning to prank your friends for Halloween, simply go over to the horror filter and you guys can use their horror voices. You can select the voice and adjust the volume and pitch to sound more lifelike. And you can also use the hear myself feature to tune it according to yourself. And here is how I would sound like as ghost face. You guys can actually adjust your pitch to make your voice more deeper and more horror. You can actually toggle your microphone and enable your voice changer using this button. They have a library of voices and if you guys are on a low end PC, do not worry because they have an AI model specifically for performance. So if you guys have a low end PC and you guys are suffering from issues, you can simply use their performance priority model. Other than that, they have an inbuilt soundboard where you can add horror sounds and assign these sounds to your keys and play them while you're streaming. Once again, you guys can download Aesis Voice Wave for yourself and explore it out. Check out different voices and go ahead and prank your friends. I have left a free download link to Aesis Voice Wave in the description below. And to use it on Discord, it is very, very simple. Head over to the voice and video section and for the input device, change it to Voice Wave microphone. And now it will be utilizing your Aesis Voice Wave microphone. And this is exactly how you can do it on Streamlabs OBS or any other game. Step number two is actually de-bloating your Discord and it is super important. For that, press Windows and R key together and then you're gonna have to type in percentage local app data percentage. Just like that, press enter on your keyboard and then you're gonna have to select any folder over here, press D on your keyboard and then find Discord in there. Double click to open it up and then you're gonna have to disable the update.exe, squill setup.log and packages. Simply delete on your keyboard and that should be gone. The next thing over here is the app folder. Open it up and then you will find a ton of 
files over here what you're looking for is the locals folder open it up and then you'll find all of the languages that are installed with discord now i generally use en.us and en.gb so i'm going to be keeping these two and deleting every single one of these language because highly likely you guys never use these so simply control it to select all of these and press and hold your control button and deselect these two languages or you can deselect the languages that you use and press the delete key on your keyboard and this will delete all of the other languages and it's going to keep the languages that you frequently use next is heading over to the modules folder and then you want to have to disable discord cloud sync one dispatch folder erl packs game utils crisp spell check if you do not use that however i use it so i'm gonna be leaving this one and the rpc folder over here to delete that simply press the delete key on your keyboard and if this is giving you an error like this all you have to do is head over to your hidden tray icons and then quit discord from here then try it again and that should be done once that is done come back to the main folder and right click on your discord.exe and then you're gonna have to click on show more options click on create a shortcut and then once the shortcut is created you can simply rename it to discord and press enter this will simply create an icon that launches your discord skipping the whole update part which gives you the gray screen issues and sometimes your discord doesn't even open it up simply paste it onto your desktop i have already placed my discord right on the bottom over here so if i simply double click on that it will start my discord and it skips the whole updating part and this ensures that discord opens without any hindrance the third and the final step to optimize your discord completely is using the discord optimization pack but before that you have to create a restore point so for that simply open it up and search for local c click on the create button and name it discord just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because the discord optimization pack does some hard changes on the root level of your system which is absolutely not dangerous but if it doesn't work well you can always reset it back again now you have to download the discord optimization pack i'll be leaving a free download link to it in the description below over here i have left five simple folders each of them contains optimizations for your pc the first one is CPU priority since Discord consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. This will apply the best D word value for your processor to increase its performance. Next is Discord priority, which helps you to set the correct priority for your Discord and it will keep it in a minimum level. So your Discord doesn't even lag in the background, but it doesn't even consume much resources, allowing your game to have the headroom while you're playing third one is batch files in which i have left discord optimizer file you have to right click and you can edit it in notepad to see what other changes that it is going to perform on your pc all of these changes will help you to optimize your memory because it consumes a lot of ram in the background and it helps you to disable relative telemetries to optimize discord and disable process mitigations to optimize the performance of your processor simply right click and on this is administrator and it will be done automatically fourth one is improving input delay because if you're running discord in the background high chances are that you might be facing a little bit of input delay on your pc if you guys do feel that you are facing input delay you can simply head over to this folder double click on keyboard latency fix leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which keyboard latency you need to choose over here next is the mouse latency registries where you guys can fix your mouse curve which will help you to fix your x and y smooth curves and your sensitivity to make it more realistic and optimized. Note that this tree is optimized by professionals like Booga and other pro players. Fifth folder over here is nothing but power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. This will help you to run a PowerShell command in the background which will add a new power plan onto your PC. Simply right click and run this as administrator and then head over to the power plan. You guys will see show additional plans over here, select that and then you have to click on ultimate performance. This will basically help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your PC and it helps you to use your PC on the maximum throttle. Now note that if you're on a laptop, this might lead to heating issues. So you have to keep switching between balance and ultimate performance while you're playing the game. Once all of that is done, simply close the Discord optimization pack. Now you guys can enjoy Discord with the lowest system resource consumption and much better gaming performance. Let me know how it worked for you guys in the comments below. And if you guys are facing any issues, also do let me know. I reply to each and every one. Also, you guys can drop a comment for a free heart. And with all that said, that is it for this video, guys. I hope I could have helped you out if I could have made 
sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button because you are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I have also launched channel membership. So if you guys want to show some love and support towards the channel, channel membership is what you can get to show your love. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox for more useful guides and peace out.